Good morning. Today is the 10th day of uh, September in this 2024th year of our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, this is day two uh, of our install for our new uh, HVAC system. Uh, they're here uh, getting to work early, which is great. The weather has been wonderful for uh, having to do that kind of work, but also being without air and not really needing heat yet so uh we're blessed in that way so hope it goes well they should be finishing up today and uh, we'll put the house and everything back in order uh it's a beautiful day again like i said probably in the 60s this morning uh, and last night it'll warm up into the 80s uh, sunshine a little bit of whiffy clouds up there uh, but all in all a good day to be alive I hope wherever you are, you're doing well as well. A reading from 2 Timothy in the second chapter. You then, my child, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And what you have heard from me through many witnesses, entrust to faithful people who will be able to teach others as well. Share in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving in the army gets entangled in every affair. The soldier's aim is to please the enlisting officer. And in the case of an athlete, no one is crowned without competing according to the rules. It is the farmer who does the work who ought to have the first share of the crops. Think over what I say, for the Lord will give you understanding in all things. Remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore I endure everything for the sake of the elect so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure, if we have died with him, we will live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. This is the word of the Lord. A reading from a daily prayer, private prayer by John Bailey. O oh God, immortal, eternal, invisible, I remember with gladness and thanksgiving all that thou hast been to this world of men. Companion of the brave, upholder of the loyal, light of the wanderer, joy of the pilgrim, guide of the pioneer, helper of laboring men, refuge of the brokenhearted, deliverer of the oppressed, succor of the tempted, strength of the victorious, ruler of rule, rulers, friend of the poor, rescuer of the perishing, hope of the dying. Give me faith now to believe that thou canst be all in all to me according to my need. If only I renounce all pride, self-dependence, and put my trust in thee. Forbid it, O Father, that the difficulty of living well should ever tempt me to fall into any kind of heedlessness or despair. May I keep it even ever in mind that this human life was once divinely lived, and this world once nobly overcome, and this body of flesh that now so sorely tries me, once made into the perfect dwelling place. Show thy loving kindness tonight, O Lord, to be who, to, to all who stand in need of your help. Be with the weak to make them strong, and with the strong to make them gentle. Cheer the lonely with the company and the distracted with thy solitude. Prosper thy church in the fulfillment of her mighty task. 
and grant thy blessing to all who have toiled today in Christ's name. Amen. And let us pray. Holy God, I thank you for the blessings of this day, for our life within it, for the opportunities that prevail, for the goodness of the coolness of the soon-to-arrive fall season, a season of change and chance that is ever upon us, to remind us that you are always renewing that which is passing. We thank you, O oh Lord, for the goodness of family and friends, of loved ones, and we pray your strength and encouragement will abide with each according to their need. Be a blessing to those that struggle in life, those that are persecuted, those that are without the basic needs that we take for granted, and give us thankful hearts for the blessings that come our way. Strengthen, O oh Lord, this world in its resolve to live peaceably. Help us to be those who foster such peace among one another. Bring reconciliation to where there is brokenness. Bring peace to where there is war, especially in Gaza and Israel, Russia and the Ukraine. Bring, finally, a lasting peace that will bring life rather than death and despair. Be of healing to all for whom we would intercede this day. We pray especially for Nikki and for Tom, for Benita, for Donna, for Charlotte. We pray your hand of healing to abide with Evelyn Rag with James, with Evelyn Tompkins, with Mark and Katie and Laura, with Elaine and Miriam, Jenny and Linda, Mary, with each that we seek your presence and help for, with Kenneth, with Gay, with Barry, and all others we commend to your loving care. Into your hands, O Lord, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine on you, to be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor, giving you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord this day and forevermore.